Hello, welcome pen friends. This is going to be kind of a different video. Today what it's going to be, it's going to be a pen friend video letter because I'll tell you why. I, I uh, have so many letters to write, replies to write, and thank yous and everything that I began to think what could I do to help myself settle down and, and, and feel a little less guilty that I can't get to all of them at once and that like when I uh, counted the number which I'll give you in a little while of how many letters I need to reply to even though I think two or three went out today it, I began to feel super overwhelmed but then I thought you know Almost everybody watches my videos, so why don't I just give a little update this way and see if it, you know, if it's enjoyable. I think it will be and it might actually help me settle down and not be such a, a worry wart about my, my reply pile. So July is almost over and it has turned out to be a really busy month. Um, as, as many of you know, I had a kind of a back injury, but I haven't had a chance really to talk to too many people about the backstory about my back. <laughs> um, my back problem started when I was about 13 and I got thrown off a horse and I got hurt pretty bad. And back then we didn't have health insurance and, you know, it was home remedies and hot baths and, and suffer till you were better kind of thing, you know, really, because I was okay, but it really hurt. And then um, I don't even think I had to disclose that when I went in the Air Force, but I got hurt again when I was 20. I uh, was climbing up a obstacle course tower, like a climbing thing. And I don't know, it took more upper body strength than I had and I fell. And I ended up at Wilford Hall in the hospital at Lackland. And yeah, that was, so that's injury number two. And you know, <laughs> there's been other little minor things, but I ended up working in childcare for several years and I was working at first with small kids and I finally realized I just couldn't do that work because there was so much bending and so much lifting of little kids and sometimes they weren't so little, like, like 30 pounds, you know. But uh, so I haven't had a black back flare up in quite a while since I got bowled over by the dog two summers ago. So that was, that was scary and it would hurt and everything, but I'm better now. So, you know, but I couldn't write letters. I couldn't sit at my desk for quite a while. But uh, yeah, so it, it's like every time I do injure my back, I get really worried because I know I've seen the x-rays. I know there's too, too close together uh, bones and, you know, there's stuff I don't even want to know about. All I want to do is take care of it and do things that, uh, you know, to prevent hurting it, you know, basically. And there's a lot of things I learned from one of my doctors on how to do that. So um, the other thing that's been happening is that we had a big storm and that came in on Saturday. It changed from a tropical storm into a, a hurricane at the last minute, but it was a, a category one. And right here at my house, we didn't have very many impacts. We, we had our preparations and we were ready. We had uh, tropical storm force winds and some rain, but we didn't get anything of what was predicted. The storm kind of landed south of us and divided out into a Y and it favored us. Um, but some of our relatives did have a power outage and we spent yesterday, you know, learning about generators and helping them, you know, because they came back from being evacuated. So, there, you know, it's always good though when you can learn. And this is our first year that both families, us and my sister-in-law have a generator. So, and they're the exact same model. So we learned on hers and now we've got to get out to our garage and fire up ours. We've got it all put together and, you know, the wheel assembly, uh, wheel kit is assembled and we have all the oil and the gas and all that but really we should have fired ours up by now if we had to do it it would be uh, yeah it would be quite a circus like it was when we tried to help her with hers so but um, thank goodness everybody's houses are standing and uh, there have been a lot of people though impacted with uh, power outages and that is more than an inconvenience when the heat index is over 105 degrees. So that's just one of those adventures that you just don't want to have, but there could be worse. So we're very grateful. So I was going to talk about my reply pile. I've got 17 letters uh, in my reply pile, which is now a box instead of, I used to have a, like a traveler's notebook and I would just tuck them in there. Well, that doesn't work right now. <laughs> I mean, I just, it was overflowing and I was afraid things were going to fall out. So it's a little box top now. So, um, but I don't, I don't know. I thought about, well, maybe I should just go to small note cards, but no, I kind of would like to write 
my normal letters and it's just that I got delayed by all the things that were happening and I think we've all been there and I've never held it against a pen pal so I don't think it, people are going to hold it against me either but I've got thank yous people have sent gifts and stickers and I, I you know I got a pen today and my goodness and and wonderful things that I actually would love to work in showing on the uh, excuse me on the channel here and I will gradually but wow I'm just overwhelmed with gratitude and I thank you all um, it's just it just continues to amaze me and there's just so much generosity in this hobby and in this um, group of people it, it just blows me away and I really appreciate it um, so yeah, so I've got all, all these letters to write, which I really, really enjoy. But what I was finding was I was pressuring myself. I was saying, oh, the pile's bigger. There's more, you know, and there's people that haven't written to me that long. So I don't want their delay to be so long that they give up on me and that kind of thing. But, you know, I think that uh, I have to take a breath because I've lived here now for almost 30 years in South Texas. And I can say that july and august are always my hardest months it's so hot and there's bound to be storms and there's just always a, a tourist kind of vibe and this year we've got the pandemic just that's just like this weird icing you know on the on the not so wonderful cake but uh it's i have to give myself a break so going into august i'm really gonna try to breathe more and and do more meditation and I have one pen friend that sent me some really helpful videos which come to think of it I think I even owe emails it's not just my my um actual analog pile of letters it's my email in by box too that's sort of uh um busy and and I it, you know sometimes you read it and say okay I'm gonna come back and with my coffee I'm gonna write back and then my goodness two or three days sometimes pass so please forgive me if that's happened because I put little stars so I can comb back through and I will be doing that but um so that's that's where that's at but most of you know I've been doing the red ink study this month and so over on Instagram I've been keeping up pretty good I've got one little hole in the project there but I've got uh Let's see. I don't know if this is going to show. Yeah, I think it will. Okay, so this is the calendar, the or you know of inks. So I have one, two, three, four days left. I should only have three days left. So I think it was sort of somewhere in there. Um, I think the twenty fifth. I just skipped over finally because I realized uh, I'm going to have to make sure I'm putting the right number day on my pages, or I'm, I'm or I'm not actually going to know what day it is because that's a hazard anyway right now. So, <laughs> oh, but it's been really fun. But there was one. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. Pilot Aroshizuku, and it's called Winter Persimmon Fuyugaki. Okay that one right there it almost looks orange and i was like oh no i fooled myself um i thought it was in the red pink um what were we calling it red pink and burgundy category uh, but even my husband said no that's orange and so i said well i think it's sort of one of those inks that wants to fool you and if you have experience with that one you probably could back me up on that but it's definitely not red so that was funny but i thought well that's a nice break anyway in the uh, colors because I had quite a few pinks and I had several that were deep red and I've got two shimmer inks that are going to be probably the last two days because I'm just such a chicken I know what the clean out will be like and I may even hop over from my Lamy um, I'm in the Lamy Vista right now with a broad nib but I'm actually thinking about cheating and hopping over into my serendipity with a broad nib and I've got two broad nibs not that I won't clean them out right away but I don't want leftover shimmer from one to end up on the next test pages I, I would really like it to be completely you know clean and and sometimes that's challenging that's all <laughs> I, I jotted down these weird notes when I got the idea all of a sudden the idea came in my head to do this as a, a video letter not to replace pen pal letters everybody will be getting replies eventually but i just thought this would be kind of fun anyway but i need to learn to speak slower i'm just not sure whether it's possible i really don't know i've tried and i've tried but i'm just a fast talker i guess um so my next note is entertainment it says to be so we found this app that 
it, it was downloadable. It's actually downloadable on, on a mobile phone and I have it on my uh, cell phone. But we put it on our Roku, which is a little device, if you don't know, that uh, hooks up to your TV and then it, through the Wi-Fi you can watch all kinds of stuff. And that's how we access Netflix and um, when we have it, which is not usually, the, the Prime and stuff. So I found this series, a long running series from Australia called McLeod's Daughters. And it's right up my alley because it's a ranch, it's women running the ranch, it's horses, it's all kinds of relationships woven in and it's wonderful I mean you have to put up with ads you know that kind of ad breaks that come in but that doesn't bother me it really I couldn't watch it otherwise you know I wouldn't know where to find it but it's got eight seasons and it's I don't know there it's sisters that inherit a ranch it's just right up my alley and it to me it's really well done the, the a actresses are amazing and the actors too the guys too but uh, it's got really strong uh female leads in in there and they're just amazing all of them so that has kind of helped me uh you know unwind at the end of the day i know that i can watch a few of those so okay so then i the next thing i wrote down was august yeah so it with three days left at least if i'm counting right wednesday th yeah three days left as i'm filming this in july then august is coming right up so um I'm trying to decide whether to do uh, what I have been doing, which is test out a different ink every day. I'm not sure yet. Um, if I don't do it in August, then I'll definitely hop on it in September because September is an official uh, 30 inks, 30 days with uh, ink journal. And actually, I don't want to miss out on that, so I may push it to then because um, I can do either a rainbow where I kind of uh, rotate through some of the colors in my boxes. I've got all 12 of the shell boxes back there full and a, a little bit of overflow but not as much as I had before. So it's getting by visiting different colors like this I've really been doing well to try out these samples and I've been cleaning out vials and it's been really really a good way to uh, get familiar with more inks. But I also want to do purple so I've got rainbow project and I've got purple and uh, Marilyn if you're watching I'm not trying to copy you but I really kind of like the idea of maybe doing like four yellow and then four green and maybe or well, however may, way I might divide it up kind of colors yellow and green are in the rainbow right I don't know I'll have to look it up but I could do um, a mixture where I did a, a mixed study like that. And I think that would be kind of fun. It, it might not be quite as, um, I won't call it boring because this red, pink, burgundy has not been boring. I've had a lot of surprises come up in there. You know, all of a sudden I was with magenta and realizing, wow, I just went all over the map with these colors. So, um, also I was gonna say that I was gonna have a no spend in August, but I'm more comfortable saying I really want to sp save money. That's that's my main thing. I'd really like to save pen allowance for like three months and, you know, try for, uh, an, uh, I don't want to say an expensive pen, but um, because I've kind of got one in mind. Um, but I don't want to go into that yet because that's something I do want to talk about later. So uh, the minute I say no spend, I think the demand resistance comes into play, so I won't say that. But I will say that I want to talk just a little about July, because I did spend a little bit of money in July. I wrote down pen allowance, mix with channel money. Yeah, so I had a little bit of ad money in June, and I had a little bit of uh, pen allowance in July. And I have a couple things to show you. Um, I did get a nib unit for my Twisby Diamond 580, and this is the medium one because I went ahead and put the broad one on my uh, clear uh, Diamond 580, and it's really working out well. And that is something I had planned to do for a long time. I just finally did it. Um, and so the medium one is safe in this little container. Okay, and then I went completely berserk. I have to just admit it. Um, I wanted to try this ink, this Twisby Blue Black. So I did order, and see that, that water resistance? I love that, and it's a nice color. I needed it like I needed a hole in the head, though, because I, I know I have another bottle of blue-black, but I 
the Twisby inks are very special. I really, really like them because I love the way they flow. And um, I found that to be true with all six of the smaller bottles, the ones in the, is it 1791? The, the six little bottles, let's see, the, the box is right up there. That's, that's not going to help. You need binoculars. But um, I thought, well, I wonder if the flow and, and the quality of the ink is going to be as good in these larger. This is 70 mil. And I did order from Dromgools. That's where I got the, the nib unit from, too. And while I was there, I didn't get away uh, too easily. I ended up with a couple of little mini bottles of the Colorverse. And oh, my gosh, these are just the cutest things. They come in a little box. And they have a little uh, <laughs> gizmo. I guess that's supposed to be like a pipette, you know, a mini pipette. And then they're just little teensy little five mil bottles. Uh, just to give you perspective, this is the 15 mil size that comes with the larger 65 mil bottle. So this is 15 and this is the five, like, like another little baby. <laughs> and... Uh, you know me, I couldn't resist. The thing is that Colorverse is be quickly becoming a brand that, that I trust for, for flow and uh, vibrancy. And I just really like the, the way the ink performs. It's, it's expensive compared to some of these other inks like Diamine and some of my other favorites. But I, d I like this option of getting a 5 mil little tiny bottle like that. And one of the bottles I got was... Um, Colorverse Cat because I really wanted it but it's a shimmer ink and it's blue and I didn't really feel like I would need a big bottle of it. I just wanted to try it, you know, and I don't remember exactly. I think these were either five or six dollars. They, you know, it's pricey. When you're talking a dollar a mil, that's quite a bit, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> I'm just not sorry. And the, their little boxes are cute because I know on the ink shelf there, I've got a few that I do kind of need to put away probably. I, I was watching, um, I think it was Amanda's video where she had a drawer. And I think that's what I'm going to have to do because I've got some, I don't want to keep them out anymore. But mostly they're in boxes. You can see back there. But okay, so that, okay, then there's two kind of big things. But this was an anniversary present. And I'm going to show you this pen, even though this is going to come out in the August Chris is inked pens. Um, this is my anniversary present from Manuel, and it is the uh, the Moonman M600S Tiger's Eye, and I really love it. And I don't, now that I'm showing you, I feel like I've already shown you. That is, that is kind of the way my brain is working lately. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I think it might be a symptom of the, of the times, you know, that I just like, did I do that already? I don't think I did, but Maybe I already visualized myself showing you the pen, but there it is. And then the, the pen that came in today was a, a extreme surprise. It came in a Goulet box and it was a present from a pen friend. It's a Twisby and it's so beautiful. But I'm going to keep that secret just for a few more days and I'm going to ink it up for August Chris's inked pens. So this is going to be, these two will be the exception. I normally pick the inks and then I pick the pens while well, these two... The pens are chosen already. The rest, the other, um, however many I choose, probably I'll do the full eight th again this month. Um, that seems to work out perfectly. I've already cleaned out like four of this month's. I'm, I'm well on my way to finishing the inks in the July pens. So, um, but that'll be fun, you know, to, to show you that, that pen. It's gorgeous and you know who you are and you got my email, but thank you so much. My goodness. I, I, that was on my Christmas list, you know, basically. And wow, that was a surprise. Um, okay. So, okay. That was, wow. We're getting toward the end. Oh, and then the last thing I wrote down was mood working to stay stable, political, civil, and health pandemic rages on. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> need I say more? I think uh, it's a little bit of a challenge. Hmm. And my voice, I, you know, we, we have to run the air conditioner so much. <coughs> I find my voice just doesn't hold up like it should. It's either the heater or the air conditioner around here. Mercy. Well, that and my talking 100 miles an hour. Um, so if I had to give myself a grade, you know, 
in terms of staying uh, on an even keel. Right now, I, I, it would have to be a B. You know, I feel like I'm doing pretty good considering everything. But it's been a little bit of a roller coaster. And I, I just don't think that that is very uncommon. <laughs> I had to pause it to cough. I don't know what's going on. But I can feel the air hitting me. And it does, I think, dry out my throat. So, um, I think... I think we all kind of have a heavier challenge staying on an even keel. Am I right? I, th I think I am. I think that right now, not just in the United States, but all over, there are lots of things happening, you know, and uh, maybe more so than usual. So we probably should give ourselves a break. And, and I definitely am guilty or, or um, what would the other word be? Um, I definitely get into the hobby and really bury myself into it. I've been writing an awful lot. My journaling has really been going well. I'm still in this journal. The, it's uh, the Premier, let's see, Premium, what is it called? Uh, premium Journal. This was a pen, uh, pen friend gift from Pen Friend Maryland. And I like the paper. It's done really well with some of my fountain pens. Actually, I just really like how I'm decorating too. And that's thanks to... Uh, um, I'm just, why am I drawing a, a pen friend? Mary has a channel and, uh, she was showing how she would decorate the pages and then write, you know, and I started trying to do that. And it's actually, it's more than trying. It's working out really nice. Uh, I tend to like to do little corner, corner artwork and stuff, just rip it off an old calendar or whatever. And it's been, it's made me feel even more like writing, which you never really have to work at getting me to write, especially right now. Um, it's been really, really good to get some of this stuff down. And the, the it's going right along. I got maybe a third left. Maybe not quite a third left in this notebook. And then I'll have to start thinking about what which one is next. I've got several to choose from because I'm going to use them no matter what the paper is. I'll use them up, all the notebooks that I have. So I think that's pretty much, uh, I'm getting close to the end here. I'm afraid I'm going to forget something. But uh, I think actually this was a pretty good idea because it gives me a chance to kind of let people know, you know, what is happening and what's coming up. So the one thing that will be coming up will be uh, two things, actually. The video that will include all the rest of the red and pink and whatever else happened to find its way in. Actually, I substituted one ink because I found one that looked more purple and I thought, okay, I have to draw the line. So I substituted Noodler's Suffrage, Suffragist Carmine, which just came in the door from a pen friend. So I had a sample of that, and I, I went ahead and refiled the ink that looked more purple. So like, like I said, there's four more to go. The pen is cleaned out for tonight, so I may get a little head start on tomorrow because I still have that whole day that's behind, but again, it doesn't really matter. They're all going to fill up that calendar. And then the next thing will be uh, Chris's inked pens. And then I just really, um, I've almost got everything complete to talk about the Twisby ink. Because I think that will be a worthwhile review, even though there are reviews out there. I've got quite a bit of water-resistant tests and a page in my Tomoy River notebook. And I think I also started in the CVS Caliber notebook. That's something that happens to me when I'm... I don't, I don't want to say nervous, but when there's a lot going on, it seems like I, I rip around starting like maybe 16 things. But I do need to start finishing, you know, consolidating and finishing. And that'll be another video. And uh, I didn't do a pen allowance video because I was kind of disgusted with myself. I didn't need to spend any money. I really need to save some money. So that's going to be high on the agenda for August is, uh, you know, saving. And if, if I have designated pen allowance money, even if it's $10, then it's going to go in a jar because I really want to start saving. There was a Platinum 3776 and there's another Twisby that may not even be available by the time I get the money. But um, that one is that Rose Gold Diamond 580. And I'm just still kind of like, wow, that'd make a great Christmas. But Manuel told me, he said, if you get it, put it, we put it away for Christmas and it's from me. So but we, we are not in that position right now. So we've got lots of little bits and pieces that we need to collect. Uh, we, this was like a trial run, this hurricane. And now we know 
which things we need to get, which we thought we were like 110% ready, but we still need like a another heavy duty cable cord and between the two houses so that his uh, sister and we have everything. There were some things that we came up a little bit short, but everybody, everybody got through and a lot of food was saved with the generator. So that was good. So I think that's it. I, I promised myself it wouldn't go over 30 minutes and it's already over 25. So this is like me saying, please forgive me for being so late with the uh, letter writing and I will get I will feel better now because at least I'll know that uh, many folks will know why. <coughs> that makes me feel a little bit better. Oh, I almost forgot one of the main things. Um, this morning I got the great news that Lockbee is sending me their new four pen case. I can't remember the name of it. But you open it up and inside it holds four fountain pens and it's going to be in black. So I'll be able to show you... <coughs> excuse me what that looks like and do a review soon so look forward to that I think I better go take care of my voice but I hope you're doing well and I want to hear how you're doing and I will see you later bye for now